recognized for five minutes. Thank you. Acting Secretary Sue, do you think the Department of Labor has the power to impose a vaccine mandate on 84 million American workers? Thank you for that question, Congresswoman. Uh, certainly when this administration began in January 2021, we were still um, uh, battling um, uh, the, the COVID pandemic. And um, I think you're talking about a proposed rule that the Department of Labor did. This was um, uh, um, work to try to make sure that that um, that there were that workplaces were safe. Yes, and so it was that rule that you were an architect of and that you signed off on. I want to know if you believe the Department of Labor has the power, and if you believe it was constitutional at the time to enforce this unprecedented, unheard of uh, action on American workers. I appreciate that, Congresswoman. I mean, as I've said here today, I believe in full fidelity to the law as passed by Congress, but also as interpreted by the courts. And the courts did strike down that um, that that rule, and and as a result, we have not. Uh, so you think we have not Biden was wrong, and the Department of Labor was wrong in imposing this emergency use vaccine mandate on 84 million workers? I mean, I think that during the height of the pandemic. Um, you know, everyone, especially those of us in government, were trying to figure out the best we could do to keep workers safe in a situation in yeah, which there wasn't was perfect information. This was unprecedented in history, and we want to know today, do you believe that the Department of Labor has the power to impose a vaccine mandate on workers? I, again, uh, reiterate my full fidelity to, uh, to the law and to uh, you know, what, what the courts have said about that Mm -hmm. uh, about that mandate. And yeah, thankfully, the Supreme Court stepped in to stop you. But I want to know, uh, what was your plan if millions of workers were forced to be vaccinated and turn in their medical records if they refused? What was your plan for all these millions of workers that were going to quit? I mean, I think, Congresswoman, one thing, just looking back to that period, um, I think this administration is proud of the recovery that we've made since 2021 by a whole host of measures. Well, but we're not, we're, we're concerned about where you are on this issue because, you know, you want to be acting secretary here and we want to know what you think is within the, your power, the, the Department of Labor's power to impose on American workers because this was unprecedented. You were an architect, you signed off on it, and this, this was damaging to American workers. I think, Congresswoman, what my record demonstrates is that um, I am really focused on making sure the Department of Labor fulfills its mission, including all of the things we've talked about today, to get workers um, into jobs in which yeah, they have the skills would, for them. It would have caused millions of workers to be fired from their jobs. And I just want to say, if Senator Manchin votes to confirm acting secretary sue he is voting in support of the biden covid vaccine mandate acting secretary sue was one of the architects of the vaccine mandate which the supreme court ruled was illegal and unconstitutional acting secretary sue tried to force 84 million americans out of work with an illegal and unconstitutional vaccine mandate she cannot be the secretary of labor she believes the federal government in Washington, D.C. should have massive power over the lives of the American people, and it took the Supreme Court to stop her. Thank you, and I yield back my time. 